Let's take a look at code coverage with the LDRA tool suite. To do that, we're going to start with a project that was done in Kyle Microvision 4 for an ARM CPU. And I've created a set inside the LDRA TB Vision of the files inside that project. What I want to do is to execute this code on a uh, Lauterbach simulator for the ARM and obtain the coverage. So I'm simply going to press this button. And what's going to happen is it's going to instrument the source code. It's then going to build it using the Kyle Microvision 4. And now we can see it's running it in the with the Trace32 ARM simulator. And what it's doing is it's streaming the data out as it's capturing it. So at some stage, I can now halt this and upload the execution history. So it's now analyzing the files that's just been captured and we should be able to take a look and see what coverage have we obtained. So let's start by going to the test manager report and what we're going to find is we have uh, code review, quality review, but what I'm interested in is the dynamic report here. And there we can see we've obtained statement, branch, MCDC coverage. Let's go into the, the main here and scroll down and we can see the coverage we've obtained. Well, I'm particularly interested in this integer to ASCII f function here and if we scroll in there we can see exactly how many times have we executed every line of code. So what we've done here is as we've obtained this coverage we've streamed it out and so we're able to count how many times we've executed every line of code. And of course the performance is a lot worse because it's quite expensive to stream this data out. Another approach we can take is, let me just delete the results here, and we'll change the instrumentation technique. So now let's go and open up this menu, and this time when I instrument the code, I'm going to compress it into a structure. So now let's start the analysis, then it'll do the instrumentation, and then we'll see it run again on the target. But this time, rather than streaming the data out as we capture it, we're simply going to set a bit inside a structure and then at a suitable time I can say OK, stop and let's upload the execution history. So that's now analyzed the code, it's built it and now we can see it's running and nothing's happening because all we're doing is simply setting bits every time we, we hit an appropriate place inside the code. And so what I now have to do is to halt the execution and then execute a function that's going to upload that execution history. So now it's analyzing these files and I could have run that for as long as I wanted because the, there is a fixed data structure so it's never going to overflow. Now if I go to my test manager report I should have exactly the same information. The only difference now is I won't know how many times have I executed every line of code. And if we come in here, all we can see is, yes, we have executed these lines of code here. These we haven't executed, and if we wanted coverage for that, I could use the, the unit testing. So very rapidly, that's a, a quick overview of showing the code coverage with the LDRA tool suite. And if you'd like further information, then please don't hesitate to go to our website.